What's going on, people? It's your boy, Bros Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Well, well, well. American gangster. Did Scarface already? Now we're on to this one. What do I think of the movie itself? I think it's great. Love it. One of my favorites. Denzel, he's amazing in this. Personally, I feel he should have won an Oscar for this. Uh, more so than Training Day. He was great in Training Day, but this movie, I think he really, like... He was just flawless. And you know, in any movie, if you're killing Idris Elba, if you're shooting Idris Elba in the head, you know shit's about to get real. Great movie. On a side note, have you guys started watching uh, Godfather of Harlem? You need to watch that. Highly recommend you guys watch yeah, Godfather of Harlem. Forrest Whitaker, it's a win-win. Yeah. But anyway... Not gonna really talk this much that much about the movie. I'm just gonna get in to the 4K disc. Finally gets that 4K treatment. How does it look? But let's get into the tech specs. Firstly, it's a two-in-one film combo. You've got the theatrical release, and you've got my preferred version, which is the extended release, which is 20 minutes longer, coming in at three hours, which means it's a hundred gig disc in this bitch. Marvel, Disney. Pay attention, when you got a three hour movie, you put that shit on a hundred gig disc. In my opinion, the extended version is the way to go. Uh, in a lot of movies, they add scenes in just to just to make more money, you know, when you got a Blu-ray release or whatnot, but this definitely adds to it, focuses more on Frank Lucas, more on Denzel's character, a lot more alternate scenes, extended scenes, definitely adds to the movie. It's the way to go. Now, I'm going to review the 4K on the extended version, but both of them look damn near identical in terms of picture quality. It's a full screen release, no black bars. Shot in 35mm, it's got a 4K digital intermediate, people rejoice. HDR10, HDR10+. And it's got a DTSX track. I love the sound of DTSX. Sounds nasty. Grain haters, beware. This film has a lot of grain in it. Doesn't bother me, but it may bother you. Just saying, it is what it is. Now this is a filmic upgrade, hence the grain. So I'm going to review it accordingly. And it is a noticeable, appreciable upgrade over the 1080p for sure. There's a lot of detail in clothing, a lot of close-ups reveal fine wrinkles and whatnot. Buildings, brickwork, set design, all looks Better. All has got that 4K sheen. Is it mind-blowing? Is it going to blow you away? Probably not. But you're definitely going to notice the added resolution for sure. With the added resolution comes the added depth. And it does have a nice three-dimensional presence on this disc. Great foreground, great background, great space between characters. Looking pretty good indeed. You're not going to find this on the 1080p disc. But you are going to notice it on the 4K upgrade. Black levels are also pretty good for the most part. Deep and inky throughout. Uh, no crush like there was on the 1080p. I did notice some of that on the inferior disc. But right here, you're noticing a lot more detail, especially in nighttime shots. So it's a win there. You want to know what the HDR is like? No HDR analogies on this one. I'm going to get straight to it. The HDR is... How can I explain? It's it's very natural looking. You may be surprised in thinking, you may just watch it and not notice the HDR as such. There is wider color at play here, but there are no blinding brights or, or inky, inky darks in terms of the contrast ratio. But, but you will notice the subtleties in terms of speculars, specular highlights. You've got scenes where Denzel is sweating and you see the beads of sweat. They're a lot more pronounced here than they are in the 1080p. Little reflections on the cars at night are more pronounced, but nothing mind-blowing in terms of the HDR. Now, you're going to see a wider color at work. You're going to notice nuances in the color, but nothing groundbreaking, nothing which is really going to blow you away. It's not a really vibrant experience, but what it does do is capture a more nuanced color palette. Nothing major, guys. And the HDR10 Plus is more of the same. I didn't really notice much of a difference between the two, uh, to be honest. It looked pretty much the same, maybe a little more pronounced in parts, but it, this is an extremely, extremely natural looking move. You tell your girl to sit on a woofer and see what happens. You know what's gonna happen? She's gonna love the sound of Denzel's voice with the DTSX 
The use of surround sound in this movie is very, very good. Gunshots pack punch. Uh, the vocals have the right resonance. Great mids and great lows. When music kicks in in parts, it, it, it envelops the room. Very, very good surround sound. I didn't hear much overhead, uh, but the surround sound is a big, to me, a big, big upgrade from the 1080p audio track, which I believe was a 7.1, I could be wrong. I think it's a 7.1, but it was a very noticeable upgrade from the get-go. As soon as you start the movie, all the different sounds and even the subtleties, the DTSX carries very, very well. Right, she gonna love it. She gonna sit on the woofer, she gonna enjoy herself. She can listen to the bass in Denzel's voice, or she can listen to the music, get the coochie jumping. Either way, it's a win-win. And there you have it, people, my thoughts on American Gangster. It does look great, really does. It is the best version to have in terms of sound quality and picture quality. It is the way to go, 100%. Is it worth picking up? Absolutely. Is the picture quality going to blow you away? I don't know. It may, it may not, but it is very, very noticeable. It's just, I didn't find the HDR mind-blowing, but I, I certainly noticed the 4K detail on this bitch. 100% pick it up. I'm, I'm going to leave Amazon links if you want to go through that. Costs you nothing, but uh, Amazon sends a little something back for your boy anyway. I'm going to give the picture quality a 7.9, maybe an 8. Should I give it an 8? I'll give it an 8. I'd give the sound quality an 8 as well. If I was to give HDR a score, I'd probably give it a 7. Definitely a wider color, like I said, but nothing mind-blowing. But it is the best way to watch this movie, 100%. All right, guys, you take care. 4K Rockstar. I'm going to catch you guys soon.